Hey, how's it going guys? It's Shadow or Door Shutter coming back to you with a brand new mod spotlight on a mod called Ordistry. This mod adds three new functional blocks and also a few crafting ingredients. So let's get right into this. So first things first, we have the three crafting ingredients. Let's get these out of the way first. So we've got an induction cell, which is crafted with four redstone, one diamond, and that will give you an induction cell, just a singular induction cell. The next one here is a conduction cell, which will be crafted by three copper, one diamond, and an induction cell to give you one conduction cell. We also have a machine frame, which is a placeable block, by the way, uh, which we will use in a minute here. The crafting recipe for this is four glass of any type, any color, uh, four iron, and one obsidian to give you one machine frame. Now, let's talk about the three functional blocks here. So, we've got the compressor, which is crafted with two induction cells, two conduction cells, one machine frame, one anvil, and three obsidian. You also can craft an upgrade version of this, which is excluding the machine frame, and then you can, of course, take that and look at a machine frame, right-click to make a compressor, which is just a cool little alternative you can do. The compressor will, of course, compress any type of ore into a dense variation and it will result in two of these so this i'm just using coal and diamond here but you of course can use gold copper and anything of that sort even lapis so this will just of course result in two so let's look at the second block here so crucible this is crafted with three bricks one machine frame two conduction cells and a lava bucket of course you can then make the crucible upgrade which is just excluding the machine frame you can take this upgrade, right click a machine frame, and bada bing, bada boom. So the crucible can actually do a few things here. It can do three different operations. It can do ore, which is this one here, which gives you three items of whatever variation of ore you're smelting. Iron from iron ore, diamonds from diamond ore, and the like. So that is cool, okay? But we also can do dense or raw. Adding water here actually just decreases the amount of time it takes for the uh, molten iron, in this case, to cool down or molten diamond or whatever. So having water here is not needed, but it does improve time to ore ratio, basically. So keep that in mind. So if we quickly look at this empty one here, we can actually throw in some raw iron and you can see that this does produce. It does take a little bit. I believe it actually tells you the amount of time in JEI, which is 7.5 seconds per. And you can see that we are, of course, going a little bit slow. But if we put water in here, you'll see how much quicker this actually is. And, of course, one piece does equal four, and you'll get 400 millibuckets. I do not know if you can actually extract this. I have not tried to extract the molten uh, liquid out of that. But uh, let's move on to our next block here. So the next block here is the separator. So the separator can be crafted with cobble deep slate, cobblestone, blackstone. We need three of those, doesn't matter which one. And then two induction cells, one machine frame, two redstone dust, and an iron pickaxe. Of course, just like the other ones, you can exclude the machine frame to get the separator upgrade. Right click a machine frame to actually get that. So if we quickly take a look in one of these separators here, you can see that Throwing an iron ore that is a stone variation will give you three raw iron and a piece of stone. So this will result in, of course, kind of ore tripling if you do not have fortune at this point, right? And also a little bit of silk touch, even though you kind of already have silk touch. But, you know, the biggest thing with this, of course, is that you do get three. So if you had like a silk touch quarry or something like that that was giving you just pure ore you could actually separate that and then result in stone or uh, deep slate, which is down here as well, so you can do both variations. Um, and then quickly, if we look over here and we throw a piece of diamond in here, this, of course, does take time. Remember, in here, it does tell you the amount of time at which it actually operates. You can see that for every single one of these, so that is fantastic. So this actually gives you two diamonds per, which is kind of a trade-off. So... One of the things I would suggest is if you had diamond ore is to throw it in here, take that dense diamond, and then throw it into a crucible to result in more diamonds per. And I believe the actual output of these is three instead of four, while looking at coal gives you five. So there is some variations in between uh, some of these ores, of course. So do keep that in mind. But that is artistry. 
Ordistry is a very interesting mod. And of course, adding things like an infinite water source into this mix, um, or even, you know, item transfer and things like that could definitely increase the process at which this works. And there's a lot of things you guys could do for this. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys. Stay awesome. I hope to see you in the next one. And I hope you guys go and enjoy this mod. Stay awesome. Bye-bye.